Okay, I, I met uh, my wife, Karen. Uh, um, well, we just celebrated our 50th anniversary in, in June. But I met her in, uh, in uh, she was living in Tucson, Arizona. My sister lived there and worked at a bank down there in uh, Tucson, worked at, for the Arizona Bank. And Karen's mother was working with my sister down there in the bank. And I went down over, uh, when I was in college, I went down over a Christmas vacation to visit my sister. And they lined us up on a, uh, or she lined me up on a blind date with Karen. And that's, uh, <laughs> that's been over 50 years ago. and. Uh, uh, one thing led to another, and uh, first thing you know, she came up here on Easter, and then uh, on uh, Easter vacation, and and I proposed to her, and we got uh, we got married in uh, in Ju on June seventeenth, uh, in, uh, in 1961. So, uh, and uh, we've had uh, like everything uh, like a marriage. We've had our, our own trial and tribulations, you know, and. Uh, but it's uh, been a great, uh, been a great marriage over the years. Basically, uh, when I started up, uh, I didn't get much uh, financing either. I, uh, uh, I talk about how my dad didn't get financing. We, uh, we had the building uh, there at the west side. We had the building, and uh, I bought uh, all the equipment. Uh, Ten cents on a dollar is all used equipment. Uh, and then uh, uh, I uh, <coughs> I financed I had to finance that through local. I didn't uh, get any ba financing for the banks. I had to finance finance that through uh, um, my uh, I guess you'd say on your honor through your equipment suppliers, and I paid them so much a month. So. Uh, as far as financing was concerned back there, uh, when we started up, I, I, I couldn't get any financing. We started off the West Side Pizza 35 years ago. It wasn't all, all uh, roses. and uh, we, we, uh, It took us about two years to see the light through the tunnel. And at that time, I, uh, you know, I was uh, starting out, we didn't have much money. and. Uh, and I was working uh, at the P or working at pizza place, and then uh, also delivering, uh, dropping off papers uh, after work in the morning, and then I was delivering meat during the daytime. So it took us about two or three years to see the light through the tunnel, and uh, uh, it uh, and and anybody else starting up a business, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's it's hard work and. Uh, and it's going to take a while. I've never been uh, uh, in a position where all of a sudden, when I opened up a place, people would be knocking down the doors. It just it took a long time to get established. And uh, so, anybody is watching this, uh, don't give up. You, you know, just just keep plowing away, and uh, and and it'll come. But you got to work at it. And uh, sometimes you have to do extra jobs, to, you know, to get by till. Till, uh, till you see where your your uh, ends, or, you know, <laughs> so you can see as far as uh, your business is going to make it. So just just don't give up.